In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add custom fields to WooCommerce products. We're going to do this by adding a simple plugin. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. To add these additional custom fields to your product pages, first we have to go into the dashboard and install a plugin. Once in the dashboard, go to plugins and then add new and then look up custom product add-ons. This is the plugin we want right here. It allows us to add just the basics of fields to product pages. In a later tutorial, you're gonna see this plugin over here, which allows you to add the custom fields, but also custom sections to product pages. Some people might need that type of functionality, which this plugin will offer. And if you don't need extra custom sections, we stick to this plugin. If you do need them, we go with that one. Like I said, the tutorial for both. I'm gonna click on install now for the basic version first, and then click on activate. If you're installing this on a live site, I recommend you back up your site first. I've linked to the tutorial on the card up above and the description down below to help you back up your site if you need help with that. These days, usually things don't go wrong, but you just never know. It's best to have a backup. Now that's installed and activated. Under products, we have custom product add-ons as a new link. When we go here, we can click on add new form, which allows us to add the custom fields. Now before we add the custom fields, let's just look at a product on our website. This is our product right here. This is a variable product that we built in a different tutorial. I've linked to that in the description down below if you want to watch that tutorial. And it just has the basic options that you can set inside of WooCommerce without any additional plugins. Now what we're going to add is extra custom fields. And what I want to add in here is things like delivery date and maybe um, custom engraving or something like that if you want to have uh, someone's name written on a macaroon. So I'm just going to call this uh, macaroon custom options. And once you have a title set, you can build your form. The form is basically what's added to your product page and people can fill that information in before they order. So I'm gonna add a text field and I'm gonna click on the edit button up here. You can also delete it by clicking the X or duplicate it by clicking the duplicate button. Click on the pencil to edit it. I'm going to make this field not required. I'm going to make the label, do you want a message inscribed on your macaroons? Please write it below, four words maximum because there's much space on a macaroon. For the placeholder, I'm gonna write, please write the inscription here. You can add a class to add additional CSS if you want. The name is referenced by the form builder. You don't need to change this. You also need to add a class if you don't want to, only if you're customizing it. The value is set to value, which is gonna be what they actually enter into the field. So you wanna leave that as it is. The type of field is just gonna be a text field. And the max length, I don't wanna set because I have it set to four words, or I tell them four words, but I don't know how many characters that would be. The max length is set based on characters, and so I'm just going to leave that blank. I'm going to just assume they, or hope they go with four words maximum, then click on the pencil again when we're all done, and we have that field completed. And then let's click on the category on the right of macaroon. This is going to be the category that this custom field, or these custom options are added to. It's going to be added to every product in this category. In the other tutorial that I referenced earlier, you can create individual specific forms on specific products even within the same category and you can have conditions set to show the forms when you want them so that's going to be in the other tutorial let's click on update to make sure it's saved come back out here and refresh and we should have a field there it is right here that's what we created they can type in their message here and then that'll be added to the order let's add one more let's add a date field let's make this required Let's make the label desired delivery date. No placeholder, no class, leave the name as it is, leave the value as it is, and now we have a date picker. Update that, come back out, refresh, and now we can pick a date. So let's actually do an order really quick. Let's choose the color green. Let's make the size medium. And for the inscription, let's write, thanks for everything. And this will be written by the baker on the macaroons. This is not a service any macaroon makers provide, I don't, I don't think, but it's just an example of what you could add to your products. It doesn't have to be this, obviously. You can add whatever you want. Desired delivery date, I like them delivered mm, next week. So the delivery date I have set as required. That's why there's a star here. And we set that in here. If we go to the pencil, little checkbox that says required. I did not set required for the inscription because maybe someone doesn't want an inscription. Gonna add just one to the cart and then click on add to cart. 
And now when that order is submitted and we receive it, we are notified in the emails, in the checkout forms and everything, what the message is that wants to be inscribed, that needs to be inscribed in the macaroons and the delivery date or whatever fields you set. As you can see, there are lots of fields. I just showed you two options. They're both done, or sorry, they're all done the same way. So if you can create one field like we just did, you can create them all. It's all the same idea. Drag it over, click the pencil, edit the settings, add CSS classes if you want to, to customize them. If not, that's totally fine. And click update or pick a category, click update, and then your custom fields are added to whatever product categories you add them to. And you can add as many as you want. You can have as many forms as you want. Just click on add new form under custom product add-ons and you can have one for every category on your website. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and check out this playlist over here where I show you all kinds of WooCommerce tips and tricks to help you make your WooCommerce website even better. So check out that playlist, it's super helpful. And also make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in the WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I'll see you in the next video.